So uh, the story, and I actually saw this when I went to Tokyo. If you if you walk around uh, Tokyo and go to a train station, what you'll see is this interesting pattern where when the train pulls into the station, the conductor will point at like a signal and say the signal is green, or they'll point at the speedometer and say the speedometer is 30 kilometers an hour. Um, outside on the platform, other uh, employees are doing similar things. They're pointing up and down the platform and they'll say platform is clear. The cleaning staff, even as they walk onto the train in between uh, sessions to clean it off, take the trash out and so on. They'll point at each car and, you know, say car is clean or trash is, uh, trash is uh, clear, things like that. And the purpose of this is that for anybody who does the same kind of job over and over again, like a train conductor pulling into the station, it becomes kind of automatic that, you know, they, it becomes habitual. And so it's very easy to overlook your mistakes. And so by pointing and calling, by literally physically pointing and saying out loud what you're doing, you're raising the level of awareness of, uh, of the action. And you, um, people don't call it, don't use the phrase pointing and calling, but you can see them do this kind of thing all the time in daily life. So for example, uh, I have a friend who she'll leave the garage door up accidentally sometimes. And so now every time she pulls out of her garage, she points at the door and says, garage door is down. Or uh, when you're getting ready to go on uh, on a trip or leave your house for a few days, you might double check everything and say, I have my keys, I have my glasses, I have my wallet. And you're like touching them in your pockets while you're doing that. And so those are all examples of pointing and calling to try to double check, to raise the awareness, to be aware, more aware of what we're doing. And if you want, you can actually use that same strategy when you're trying to build or break habits. So for example, if you want to stop snacking, when you reach into the, the cupboard to get out a cookie or go to the pantry to get out a snack, you could say, I'm about to eat this cookie and I don't want to because I'm trying to stop, stop snacking. And just the act of saying that out loud before you do it might be enough to prevent you from it. It sounds silly. It sounds a little like over the top to do it. But it can be a very useful strategy um, early on so that you become more aware of your behavior. 